oh he falls on her i'm like i need it they be getting you when they start talking about those sweet adjectives well i shouldn't say they i know i'd be getting y'all too <laughs> to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here my name is maria or it's mj here on youtube so in today's video i'm actually very 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 excited about today's video because i'm collabing with my favorite people here on youtube my favorite girls we have become super close and we decided to do five perfumes that other content creators or other youtubers have made us buy but like a lot of the times um content creators or youtubers whatever you guys want to call it um don't get recognized for their work and let me tell you guys this is not easy i know that some people just turn on the camera or whatever, but me personally, I'm kind of camera shy. It has taken a lot for me to record videos and start a channel. I created a channel about two years ago, and I haven't been the most consistent, but you know, it's because things happen or whatever, but I do now try to be a lot more consistent. I have been really grateful for the support that I have been given by you guys. So I really wanted to mention that. So I'm gonna mention my girls real quick because obviously this whole video is about bringing everyone together and just recognizing everyone. So my first girl that I'm gonna mention is gonna be Anna Absolute. You guys know that I love her. She's a little ratchet but that's what i like about her she's a little spicy <laughs> then it's gonna be becky she's known here as rebecca coyasso coyasso here on youtube i always tell her this but i remember when um i started watching her i binged watch her so go check her out if you guys also have not already she's super authentic and honest and my next girl is gonna be Jeanne. i love her as well i recently uh connected with her and since the first day that we talked i was like we're gonna be friends like we're gonna vibe on her channel she has a lot of like yummy delicious gourmand sort of fragrances so if you are definitely into that category of fragrances you will definitely 100 enjoy her and my other girl is gonna be perfume realm the way she describes fragrances she talks about it in like a story form and it's like like it captivates you you know what i mean so if you guys have not checked her out her video go check it out and my other girl is gonna be takara i'm sure you guys already know who she is i love her videos as well she has this very like soothing like glowy look about her very sultry she's also super nice super kind and my recent girl is gonna be my uk girl that's what i call her loki loki and we recently connected actually but since the first day that we talked i was like we bond. I like you. I vibe with you. So that's my homegirls. Go check them out if you guys have not already. And don't forget to subscribe to them and to me if you have not already. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, actually, let me rant a little bit more. Like I said, this video is about giving thanks to other content creators. So not only like in the perfume world, but like in the hair video. Takara makes hair videos, by the way. So if you guys are interested in that, go check her out. And I never rant on here ever. Yeah, I know I'm coming off a little bit rancy pantsy, but and it's all fun and games and all jokes or whatever, but don't forget to appreciate other even if it's a subscriber that puts you onto something just don't you but with that being said if you guys are interested in seeing today's video then please keep on watching i feel like because i don't really record anymore most of the videos that i have been posting as of lately have been pre-recorded so if i look a little bit off and a little bit nervous it's because i am <laughs> all right so we're gonna start off with the first purchase that um, I made based on a recommendation. By the way, I'm looking down at my notes because I don't want to forget um, the name of the person. So the first recommendation was made by Mr. Kong's mom, but well, that's her YouTube name, but her name is actually Melanie. So the first perfume that we have here today is Vanille Apricot. And this purchase was brought to you by, <laughs> but this purchase was um, inspired after watching Mr. Kong's mom uh, review. Not really review, she just mentioned it a lot on her channel. The way that she described it just obviously made me want to get it. She kept mentioning over and over again and she said that it was so delicious and it smelled um, like a bakery. Um, I don't really get the bakery reference, at least the way my nose perceives it. But um, I have worn this before and I have gotten told someone smells like cookies. And I guess the way that it projects off my skin. I've also gotten that someone thinks that it smells like blueberry muffins. On me, it smells the same way that the perfume realm described it, that it smells like a cream soda. That's exactly what I get. The second that I smelled it, to me it smelled like a cream soda. It also has this like candy, uh, laffy taffy sort of vibe to it. This brand is considered niche, but it's more on the like affordable side of niche. But I found an amazing deal on uh, Mercari and I snatched it up. <laughs> I got it for $27 for the 3.3 fluid ounce. And I mean, that, that's a deal. Like don't sleep on Mercari, like I'm telling you guys, like head over there, look for perfumes that you guys want to try out, even if they're used a little, at least I don't mind, I'm not that picky. Um, 
but yeah you guys can get really good deals just make sure that you do your research that way you guys do not get scammed but yeah it was melanie from mr kong's mom that inspired me to get this purchase and i am not regretful of it of course i perceived it differently than she does but y'all go check her out she's a beautiful woman that does a lot of like favorite videos reviews and she has fragrance content from time to time so go check her out all right so my next purchase i had to mention this one i know that i have been mentioning it a lot on this channel as of lately but obviously i enjoy it and you guys have told me that after a couple of my videos that i have been raving about this perfume you guys have also enjoyed it and i'm so happy a couple of you have even made uh videos uh with your experience with sophia you, you guys know i had to come in like you guys know one of them being nicole and it was so funny i was watching her video and when she first sprayed it, I was like, that is so me. Because when I first got this perfume, for me, I smelled more of Le Vie Belle than um, Coco. And then the following day when it opened up, I smelled Coco. So now it's like, whenever I describe it to you guys, I have to tell you that it's it's both. I smell Le Vie Belle and Coco. It's a mixture of both for me at least. But um, this one was actually inspired by uh, Karina. She made me do the purchase because, like I said in my last video, the way she sprays it in the air, it's so enticing to me and it's like, I need to have it, I need to get it. It's just something about the sprays that it just looks like, um, what's that thing called? Fairy dust, it's just something like magical about it. The way it falls on her, I'm like, I need it. <laughs> so that's exactly what I did. I had seen a couple of people talk about this perfume and I had also seen it in a lot of people's like celebrity perfumes, collections, this and that, but I do have to give credit to who's the person that made me buy it and it was Karina. It was the sprays, y'all, it, it was the sprays. I'm sure y'all watch her and I know you guys know what I'm talking about, the 20 sprays in the air. Hold on, let me try to do it. I hope y'all caught that because I'm not spraying it again. <laughs> I'm already going down as you guys can see it just goes down more and more every single day oh. literally this has been my current everyday perfume it's just such an easy grab and go I even wear it to go to sleep I might be slightly obsessed there are certain people that have commented on my videos that they have the cream they have this and that they layer it together they're like I'm obsessed I feel you I'm obsessed too so shout out to Karina she's the one that put me on to Sofia by Sofia Vergara I'm sure you guys already know who she is it's Karina hello hi uh, she does makeup videos she does a lot of fragrance videos they're very enticing and she also has like beauty sort of videos so y'all go check her out if you're not already but I'm sure you are so. all right so next perfume was inspired by the beautiful stephanie here on youtube she's been on here forever so i'm sure you guys also know her her name is smlxo or smlx0 <laughs> but this is one that um i got when i recently started getting into perfumes which was last year like uh fall ish time and the way that she described it was like it was so beautiful she described this as um a, well let me show you guys the perfume so this is poison girl the edt version and the way that she described it in the video she said that um it smelled like an orange uh, marshmallow and i was like who doesn't want to smell like an orange marshmallow i do well i don't know if it, other people want to smell like an orange marshmallow but i sure as hell do so i got it and this is like i said when i started getting into perfumes and um anything that sounded sweet and juicy and delicious and yummy i want it so this is one of my first like perfume purchases and i was not disappointed i will say though i was disappointed with the longevity on me but now it does last a lot more i don't know if it's because of the heat but it performs a lot better on me now than it first did but this is a beautiful fragrance it's a little bit of everything i mean it's sweet it's fresh but it can also be warm i didn't get the whole warm connotation when i first got it i was like no this is definitely like a fresh perfume but now i get it it's the sweetness in this perfume i feel like makes you feel a little bit cozy but it's also still a lot more fresh than warm in my opinion but yeah um it was just like the sweet adjectives they be getting you when they start talking about those sweet adjectives well i shouldn't say they i know i'd be getting y'all too <laughs> but it's just the sweet adjectives especially if you're like into gourmands now i'm not really into full-on gourmands well i guess i was in the beginning because i did only like sweet perfumes but once i dabbled into one perfume that i'm going to mention at the end that's when i was like okay okay my nose started gravitating towards other stuff and enjoying other stuff and um you know yes <laughs> yes mm -hmm. this is one that i really enjoy and i think stephanie that i have it in my collection so shout out girl i'm sure that you're not gonna see this but shout out to you that you put me on all right so moving on to my fourth perfume are we on the fourth one two three wait are we on the fourth 
yeah four okay <laughs> but moving on to the fourth perfume and this is one that um i saw mixed reviews about and i wasn't like you know i i, I wasn't full on into it i was i wasn't there yet but this one person grabbed my attention and i was like okay add to cart so this is why i sell libre um listen i know there's a whole like french pronunciation to it but i'm not french y'all i could barely speak english i have an accent i mean hello i know that there's some like fragrance people on here that get but hurt when someone can't pronounce a word in French. But there's one thing that I, I got to tell you. Je n'ai pas les pour français. So it is what it is. So I'm gonna say why sell libre or libre. To me, it's uh written in Spanish, so I'm gonna say it in Spanish, honestly. But this is but that was my little quick rant. I'm like a little rancy today. But this was um inspired by Ivana Cora. She has like a lifestyle, beauty, makeup, and she talks about fragrance from time to time. Really love her content. She's so authentic and I, I've commented so many times, she probably thinks that I'm weird on her videos. I can literally just watch you talk about nothing for a whole hour and it's just so entertaining. It's just something about her that just gravitates me to her content, but whatever, that's besides the point. She said that this smells smexy and this smells like money. And I like anything that smells smexy and like money, like, so I had to buy it. <laughs> There's one thing that I can say that I regret about this purchase is that I didn't get it in a bigger bottle. When I first got it though, I will say that I think it's the the sometimes I feel like get uh, manipulated by other people's reviews, especially when it's like a bad review. Oh, it smells so generic and this and that and blah blah blah. And I got it. And I was like, okay, it kind of smells like a perfume counter. But I wore it to work. In performance was amazing. But what captivated me the most about it was the way that it made me feel. And that's the most important part about it. And when I connect with a fragrance, I'm about to get like real emotional about a perfume. But there's certain perfumes that maybe not everyone likes. But I really enjoyed it and the way that it made me feel that day, I was like, this is my perfume. And this gets added to my top perfumes. It did make me feel like a boss. It made me feel powerful. And those are my favorite perfumes. The ones that make a statement, the ones that you walk into a room and you're like, hello, hi, I'm here. But you don't have to open your mouth to make your presence known. That's how I felt with that perfume and I really enjoyed it. But yeah, it's a very like luxe, smelling, money perfume. Like I've said in the past, it's not old money, it's new money, honey. So that is YSL Libre and Libre. Libre? Libre. That is YSL Libre. Libre. Je ne parle pas français, remember that, okay? And um, that was inspired by Ivana Corra. Corra. Now that's one thing that I can pronounce in my R's. Like, I can roll my tongue all day, so. And I don't be coming for those that don't know how to roll their R's, so. All right, so moving on to the last perfume. I feel like I'm so, like, talkative today. I started off, like, all shy and, like, I don't want to record. I haven't recorded in a while. And here I am. Well, I'm telling y'all, when I start, I cannot stop, but let's move on. This is a perfume that I hope you guys, I feel like, you should know that I love. And if you don't, do you really watch me, though? Hmm. But this is Alien from Terry Mugler, and this one was inspired by Mila Leblanc. Leblanc. Leblanc? Listen, we're not gonna go there, I told you guys. Um, but this was inspired by her, it really was. And this is another perfume that I got when I first started getting into fragrance, which was last year during the fall time, when I made that fragrance net haul, whatever. And this was a perfume that disappointed me at first sniff. And it was because it was completely different from anything that I had ever smelled. Let me open the blinds because it's so dark here today and like the lighting just, it's not gonna get any better. But yeah, um, I really enjoyed like sweet perfume, girly perfumes, like pink sugar type vibes. The most of that I had to like a more stronger perfume was Woman Gold from Zara. And um, that was like the most womanly perfume that I had. It was the strongest perfume that I've ever tried. So I do a night test when I try my perfumes. I take a shower, I put on my perfumes. If they last throughout the whole night, they work. Wow a beast but when i tell you that i was so taken back by the fragrance i mean i was taken back by the fragrance and it was so overwhelming and it felt so heavy and i will admit that i thought that it smelled pretty grandma-ish and um i had to force myself to go to sleep i wanted to wake up so bad <laughs> to take a shower but i was like nope you're gonna rock it through because i wanted to see i guess the hype of it i felt like this girl being mila hyped it up so much and not only her but i saw other people hyping it up the reason mila was the one that made me buy it was because she just talked about it so much it was more of like she was throwing at me and i was like fine fine i'll, I'll, I'll grab it you know it was more of like here toma and i'm like fine i'll grab it 
geez fine I'll, I'll get it so I got it and I, I was taken back now I will also add that I had a friend and I consulted her about the fragrance and she was like oh my god I love that perfume and uh, I consulted her about the fragrance and she was like yeah it's so unique and it's so good and this and that she works in the fragrance department at a department store so that confirmed also my purchase and like I said, I got it, I hated it. The following day, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it another try. I liked it a little bit more. The next day I tried it again, you know. And um, it just made me feel like powerful and strong and dominant. And I feel like it just matched my personality. So that is a perfume that I fell in love with because it just matched me and we just, we connected. Like comment down below, which is your perfume that you connect on a spiritual level, honey? Like it just like captivates you, you know what I mean? So this is a perfume that I love. And um, it really was inspired by Mila Le Blanc. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. There's a truck coming by. Construction has been going on here for months at this point. And um, it recently stopped because of you know who. But it looks like it's coming back and running. But yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. And these are my five perfumes that were inspired by other, uh, not only fragrance reviewers here on YouTube, but just other people in general. Like I said, I'm going to link them down below. And I will also, of course, put um, pop-ups on screen. That way you guys go check them out and show support. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And in today's video, I'm actually not going to say subscribe if you want. That is one thing that I was talking to the ladies uh, recently. And that's one thing. That I guess I never pushed because I'm not a person I gotta be honest I'm not the type of person that usually subscribe it's a bad habit of mine I've been watching YouTube for so many years and I always watch people but I never subscribe and it wasn't until like I started YouTube that I started like showing more support as in like subscribing giving a thumbs up and this and that so this is the first time that I'm gonna tell you guys subscribe if you actually like my content um, as I've always said in the past you know don't subscribe if you don't like my content if you guys do keep coming back back and back and back you guys like my content subscribe um it not only really like genuinely like it helps me out but it also and i'm not just talking about myself but in like other content creators as well if you guys watch their videos support um it lets us know that you guys enjoy the content if not that's when i kind of just go mia because i do this as a hobby of course but it also feels great to be appreciated and that's the whole point of the video you know to show appreciation to other content creators out there so please subscribe give it a thumbs up let me know if you guys enjoyed the content that i'm bringing to you guys and, and go check out my friends videos because you know we all put work into it so let's all show some love especially in the small community like we're, we're a pretty small community so I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye guys.